Hey guys, Rohan was reading about sound waves today and he read that the loudness of a sound depends on the amplitude of the sound wave. Curious as he is, Rohan questioned the truth in this statement. He wanted evidence but he didn't know where to look. Now Rohan can speak louder if he wants to but how will he determine if this loud voice has a smaller or larger amplitude? Well, this is what Rohan's physics teacher told him. If you had just two grapes, then you would have just two grapes. If you have five grapes, then you'd say you have five. Now, if you had about 20 grapes, then you'd describe them as a few grapes, right? But if you had a big bunch of grapes, you wouldn't call it a few grapes, would you? You'd say that you have ample grapes. So if the quantity increases, a few turns into ample. In classical English, this journey of quantity from a few to ample is called amplification. The device with which you turn a few into ample is called an amplifier. And the mechanism with which this is done is called amplification. Loudspeakers are also called amplifiers because they make sound louder to reach a larger audience or an ample crowd. Now to determine if the amount of heat is more or less or very less, we have a quantity called temperature. Temperature tells us about the extent of heat. Similarly, to determine how amply a sound is heard, we have a quantity called amplitude. Hence the terms amplification, amplifier and amplitude were all derived from the word ample. But this whole process is inherently linked to the loudness of sound. And therefore, amplitude is inherently linked to the loudness of sound. If we were looking at the graphs of two completely identical sounds, however, one louder than the other, then the only thing significantly different in the two graphs would be amplitude. Hence, a different amplitude means different loudness. Well, that's an ample bit about sound for today, right? See you next time.